G'day guys, it's Robert from Outback Equipment. Today's quick video, we're giving you a demonstration using the product from Septone to how to buff and clean your boat. A couple of tips and tricks along the way. Join us with the install today. So guys, lucky me, I've drawn short straw having to buff the bus's boat. Thankfully, we've got a couple of helpful tools to help us along with the, uh, with the, the job today. And the product we're using from Septone, we're actually using a two-step process. Um, purchase individually, we've got our basic cut and prepare compound, and then we've got our wax polish at the end too. Tools required, nice and simple, just your basic buff. You can hand polish these, but because we're covering a big surface, a big area, um, it's nice having a, a, a machine. Um, pad we're using today too, for your first initial cut, we want to basically get in there with a nice um, wool uh, pad. Um, finishing off then we'll go into a, a nice foam pad using your wax and giving it a nice shine polish. For the purpose of the video, we're just gonna tape up where we're gonna be uh, marking out. It's just a small area where we're gonna be buffing, just for the demonstration of the video. So that way you guys at home can get a, an idea of the, the end result. So guys, again, for the purpose of the video, we've masked up our surface of where we're gonna be buffing. Um, it is helpful to, when you're applying, obviously your compound, we're only doing in small sections, just to get um, that full effect and allowing the buff to work into the, to the actual gel coat. Um, to apply your, your compound, it's probably helpful using a brush too. Again, just helping marking out, and you actually see where you're actually painted the compound. They give you an idea where you're having to buff in that particular area. So you're not having to be Picasso, it's just applying that onto your area, grabbing your buff machine. We want to start on a slower setting on our on our buff machine. So guys, once you've worked that compound into that small section there, we want to go over with a microfiber cloth, just wiping that residue down and just working your way down from there. You can already start to see, just even from the bottom section there, we're starting to cut into the actual uh, oxidization from, of the fiberglass. So guys, we're working down for the section down the lower now. Um, what I've done from the top there was, is just basically applying your compound, uh, working it in with the actual buff, um, gradually speeding up your buff too, is basically getting the heat into the gel coat, and that's what's giving that mirror sort of finish. Um, it's taking a little bit more because there's quite a bit of oxidization on the actual hull itself. We'll go ahead and do this bottom section. We might hit it again twice just to get that, um, that extra bit of cut and then we'll finish it off with that uh, wax compound. So guys, hopefully the camera can pick this up. Uh, we've finished our step one, just applying that compound, cutting compound. Um, it's already left us a nice smooth finish. Um, just restoring that gel coat to that nice polish. So step one, we've just used your wool pad. Um, for any wax compound or polishes, you should be using a, a foam pad. So we're gonna switch over to this one now for step two. Same as step one, we're just using your brush again with your compound, just brushing that on. This one with the wax, you can actually get a, a larger sort of surface. So in this attempt, we're actually gonna do this whole square um, disco. No different to obviously how you're applying your first cut. We're just basically doing the same, working the buff exactly the same. So again, guys, once you've done that, just grabbing your microfiber cloth again, just cleaning, brushing the surface off. Done. So guys, again, for the sake of the video, removing our tape too, so for you guys at home can hopefully see this. Um, it is obviously in the harsh sort of sunlight and the camera may not pick this up, but I know with um, a polarized sunnies, it's making the world of difference. So guys, we've finished that section there now too. Um, not only have we achieved that nice uh, showroom shine finish, um, but also feels great too. More importantly, we've taken that, uh, the harsh oxidization uh, and potentially watermarks obviously from the hull, um, giving you a longevity out of your fiberglass hull too. Um, unfortunately, the likes of this one, where it's stored during most of the time of the day, it is in the, the sun. Um, so for you guys at home, um, probably best to, to have them stored in a shed. Um, so that way you're not having to do this every few months. So guys, again, using our Septone range with our step one, step two of your buffing compound and wax, um, give it a huge thumbs up. Great round of products. Um, obviously got the job done. Um, we do sell a lot of these particular products and more at out, outbackequipment.com.au. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave comments down below. If you've liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.